it's another art haul and I think this will be my last haul for this year. This is a lot of art supplies guys and my head is kind of hurting right now because I just shared to you a haul with a lot of art supplies again and um, I think this is going to be my last art haul this year and I'm gonna go on a no buy for at least three months until I've expedited all the art supplies that I have and probably use up some of the things that I'm l running low on and yeah um, it's best if we become more consensuous buyers you know not just keep on buying art supplies for the sake of collection because if you keep on collecting things that's gonna be a waste of resources as well as it's just not the wise way to you know purchase things with that being said here are the things that I've purchased so this is the Magnani Portofino, which is now Magnani's um, hot-pressed watercolor paper. And this is 100% cotton. I bought this one in Art Bar. And the feel of the paper reminds me of these um, Bristol papers that I've used before. So before buying and committing to a block of this paper, I think I would just test out a... A five sheet pack of it and this five sheet pack cost me 300 pesos which is around six US dollars we're gonna use one of these sheets to try out the art supplies that I am hauling so here is the sliver of the Portofino aside from the Magnani I also bought me I pulled the trigger and bought me an entire pad of the Canson Me tints and I bought the um, earthy variety as you can see here You've already seen how much I love the um, three meat tents that I have in cream, um, the wine red, and the dark gray color. And I think it's about time for me to grab the entire sheets. And the colors in it are darker colors. I'm not yet going to open this since I think I still have around nine more sheets to go before I use up all my um, individual meat tents. So this will sit first in my collection until I use up some of the other papers that I have. Alright, so I'll start sharing first this individual pencils and um, paints that I got that were on clearance sale and that I just wanted. So first up, you have here the... I bought four of the Polychromos, which I'm sure a lot of us are familiar with. Polychromos are Faber-Castell's oil-based professional grade pencils and I bought them in shades that are not present in my 60s tin. I also got me a olive lime color from Karen Dash Luminance and originally this cost um, 159 pesos so 9 pesos more expensive than the um, polychromos but um, if you if you convert that to US dollars it's almost the same as um, 3 US dollars so I think I have this in my 40 set I think I have this color but I still haven't opened that box again um, the Jonah complex in me and the pressure that comes with opening like the entire box of luminance it's the pressure was just too much so i still couldn't open it and justify opening it yet i bought myself um four sennelier watercolors um pants and they were originally sold for um 319 up to 491 pesos and they were um surprisingly on super duper sale like these ones cost me not more than two dollars they cost me 89 pesos but um there were only limited stocks there so i just picked up things that uh, um interest me not i did not get the um familiar colors to me anymore so i just got these so let's open them together <laughs>
So here are the Cinelia colors that I got. I got here the colors brown, pink, emerald green, um, cerulean blue, and naples yellow. I was so happy to actually try and use the naples yellow from Cinelia because I heard good things about it from Arlisha Yetzer from Arlie Bean. She's she's one of my watercolor inspos and um yeah she she did rave highly about the naples yellow of Cinelia when she talked about it once in her channel so there's that okay so my birthday was last december 27 and my grandmother my beloved grandma gave me this um 20 landscape um set of karen dash museum aquarelle and i couldn't be more surprised at um this gift coming from her because um this is very expensive and um she also criticized me of how um how mediocre my art skills are but then so um these are my collections before i received this and i've already opened um and swatched these um pencils and i'm going to talk about um, more on the museum aquarelle pencils on a separate review video so stay tuned for that but um spoiler alert these are really good artist grade watercolor pencils i also bought myself a fixative this is from quelox i am not sure if i'm pronouncing the name of the brand right update on the carbotellos and the pan pastels i love using them together and um i just want to be assured that they will not smudge um in my sketchbooks and in my individual sheets of course i still wrap my um loose sheets of finished pieces with tracing paper but i spray that with that fixative and it it's working pretty fine currently. Um, remember um, last month where I bought the Pro Markers from Windsor & Newton, the 12 set, and um, I didn't quite like the color selection on that um, set because they were too vivid. Um, I ended up selling that to one of my co-workers and she gave that as a gift to her um, to her children who's actually really excellent in art. Like They're still... Um, 10 years old, 11 years old, and they're already making realistic drawings. I can only aspire to be talented, but alas, I am just still trying to keep myself skilled. So anyway, these are now the Pro Markers, and I bought them in the Pastel Tone um, collection. This pastel set is, um, I think, more tailored for people just like me who who doesn't really want that punchy, vivid, illustrative colors. And um, I just plan to use these Pro Markers as my... Um, my base layer for some of my um, colored pencil drawings. I'm going to treat pro markers um, akin to pan pastels for my purposes. This is a swatch of the pastel collection of the pro markers that I got. Um, the past. The colors are pastels, and I like how they look, but I'm not sure if they work together as a collection alone. It does lack the depth, but then again, that is supposed to be expected if you buy something that says pastel to it. But for me, as a mixed media artist and a someone who likes to um, punch in some depth and darkness and contrast in his work, um, this is a good um, set and collection to add to an already um, existing arsenal of art supplies. Last and certainly not least are these two items from Prismacolor. So I bought these two separately. Um, this collection, color, um, this Prismacolor coloring kit was um, bought using gift certificates given to me by my aunt um, Madeline and <laughs> this, um, these um, open stock pencils, I bought them from um, Star360, which is now the flagship store of Prismacolor products and Arsh supplies here in the Philippines. So let's first take a look at the um, coloring kit from Prismacolor. So I've already opened this one. So in this collection, it has here now a coloring booklet, which the details are pretty small. If you want to do um, adult coloring, I guess you can use this if you want to wear poster size. Yeah, the pieces here are actually nice but i would have loved if these were um bigger what i'm most excited about for this collection is actually now the prismacolor sharpener because um believe it or not um this simple sharpener goes up 
as high as 1,300 pesos on some shops online here in the Philippines. And that's just extortionate, man. I, there's no way I'm gonna pay that much for just a sharpener. So I bought this um, thinking that it's going to be one of those um, long, long, what do you call that? Um, swordfish type of a um, tip. And right now, I'm taking my Brotfuner pencil and I'm sharpening it for the first time. And let's see what type of point it makes. Okay, so I sharpened it on, a, on the smaller hole. And this is the point that you get when you use that Prismacolor sharpener. So, um, it's not the swordfish type that I was hoping for, but it does expose a good amount of, of pencil. One more thing that got me excited with this set is actually the colorless blender. So, yay for the colorless blender. I'm excited to make use of this because the uh, only colorless blender that I've tried before this one is the Derwent one. Um, the only... Um, colorless blender that I've tried is the Derwent one, which is this one. And um, I thought it was pretty stiff and waxy. And comparing it now to this Prisma colorless blender, I think it has the same waxy texture. So I think that's really just how colorless blenders work. I don't know. I'm yet to try out the Karen Dash one. And I'm also keen on trying out the um, burnishing pen. Yeah, the burnishing pencil from Derwent as well. So it also comes with this um, cute looking... Um, micron pen so the tip is nice it's a 0 0.05 let's try it out I like how I'm just um, really um, unboxing and like already already um, assigning different locations for these different supplies so this is the Prismacolor pen is it bent? did it come in bent? I don't know it's pretty precise. I think I might consider using this for my journaling and um yeah, I the it's not as smooth as the Sakura Koi um micron pens, but then again it could be also the paper that I'm using, but it doesn't glide as well as I want to and hope for, but nevertheless it's it's a great inclusion with the set. It contains a needable eraser. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> it comes with a needed eraser as well. And of course, you can't talk about Prismacolors without their Prismacolor pencils. Aww. So this set is a curated 24 colored pencils. The colored pencils, the selection seems like it's a standard collection, but it's not exactly the same as that of the 25 pencils. I uh, 24 pencils in a tin. It unfortunately comes with um five colors immediately like upon looking at it it comes with five colors that i will not really use which are um these two metallic shades and these um fluorescent shades so let's watch them just to know how they work i'm no longer going to sharpen these i'm just gonna directly swatch them and ooh. <laughs> Okay, so here are the colors that came with the Prisma Color Coloring Kit. The colors are pretty vibrant, pretty beautiful if you're into that. But it's unfortunately not my go-to, but I see its purpose. So I think I will find a way to use these colored pencils as well. So the last of my um, items from this haul are now individual Prisma Color pencils coming from the Star 360 um lazada page i'm gonna link it down below for those um friends living in the philippines watching this video So I got 16 open stock Prisma color pencils because um, I was thinking I wanted to insert some pastel colors to use to burnish some of my work, if that makes sense. Like if I have a pet portrait, I don't want to burnish directly with white. Instead, I would want to use an earthier um, white or a very, very light gray color instead of a direct white. Oh. 
So these are the colors that I got open stock from Prisma Color. And <laughs> funny enough, like the contrast is very vast between the neon colors from the coloring set and you have here now the ones that I bought open stock, which are very earthy, muty, and past uh, muted and pastel, which <laughs> It's fun to like realize the things that you got once you already have them all lined up together. Um, I'm happy with my selection, but at the same time, I already noticed that the, the huge gap in my selection, which are now the reds, especially the, the earthy red colors, which I think I don't need to buy it because I have the Derwin Drawing Pencil. I have a review on it. You can click on the link down below. Um, but yeah, these colors, I think I'll find a purpose for them if in case I decide to draw more illustrative or to um, come up with a purpose for these colored pencils. So I got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 colors, which I'm happy about actually. And I'm really contented about the different colors I had. Hi, Post Filming Chris here, and I just want to say a huge thank you to um, all of you guys who watch my videos. Thank you so much to my first 111 subscribers. Um, it means the world to me that you're supporting this um, up-and-coming channel. I'm not yet sure about my content, but definitely I'll be focusing on art supplies and mixed media work. But I don't want my content to just be hauls, even if my two most viewed um, videos are art hauls and... It's not going to be sustainable if all my content will be hauls because I only had so much money to spend on art supplies and I don't want them to just lay around on my cabinet collecting dust. I actually want to enjoy the art supplies even after swatching them for the first time. So um, this is going to be my last art haul for the next three months. And for the next three months, um, my content will be mostly on um, different product reviews and um, different demonstration of different mediums and um, I know that most of my viewers are um, from English speaking countries but I'm Filipino and I am um, English I'm pretty confident with my use of the English language I believe that I speak the language fluently but I am also keen on expressing myself in Filipino so um, English speaking viewers if you don't mind is it okay that I post on this channel as well Filipino art tutorials because I'm I'm really keen to um, teach Filipino um, viewers of YouTube on how to use my favorite medium such as colored pencils and um, watercolor. So um, I think I'm gonna have a separate video or put there already Filipino art tutorial or Tagalog art tutorial so that you know that that's gonna be a um, Tagalog spoken tutorial but other videos will be using the English language. So there's that. <laughs> I hope you don't mind me talking about this um, channel's direction, but um, I want you also to be part of this decision-making journey, and I appreciate you for watching this video alone. It means so much to me that you take a, a few minutes of your day to just hear me out, share my insights on some products, and from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much, and I wish you all peace. Have a great day ahead.